Greetings family, this is Bomani Tayemba and welcome to our Africa Tours and Investment Conference Call for April 17, 2022. And we're here to talk about the list of our journeys that we have for this year and next year. What I did is I sent out a Africa Tour newsletter and that's uh, the details that I sent out with all of the information that everyone need to know. So what I'm gonna do is put it in screen sharing. I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna just do a quick presentation and then we're gonna open things up for questions. So anyone who have any questions, just write them down and then we'll go through them in the next 15 to 20 minutes. And perfect. So what I have up is our Africa Tours conference call. And that's for Tanzania, Senegal, the Gambia, Liberia, South Africa, and Ghana. So those are the schedules that we have. Some journeys are close, some journeys are far away. And the closest journey we have is our Ghana May 24th to June 5th journey coming up. And that's coming up in about uh, five weeks. So the goal is just letting everybody know that journey is a go. And what I'm looking to do up until the next uh, 30 days, looking to just add whoever can make the journey. If not, then we just get them scheduled for December and things like that. So regardless of whatever number it kind of work out to, uh, we're just going to make the journey. Last year, it was only about eight of us, about eight to 10 of us. And you know the same thing too, we just made that journey work. Uh, so as these mandates for traveling and things like that become a little looser and things like that, uh, more and more people are opening up for traveling. So I just want to make sure that we have a nice schedule up front and let everyone know that Ghana may is still in effect, Tanzania, November 2022, and then Ghana again, December 2022 is our next uh, three journeys for this year. So, so looking to just uh, get more and more people to share the information and also just want to just kind of direct more people to see the highlight videos of the previous year so they you know get an idea of what you know the journey looked like so everyone is clear. All right, so that is our last journey there in Ghana uh, at the at Asin Manso, the last bath. And this is a memorial connection right here. Uh, dealing with our return as stolen Africans back to the homeland. That's us in Tanzania. So those represent the last two journeys that we have taken and also represent the next two journeys that we're taking for this year. And one thing about a conference call, I always let everyone know that all of the links and all the details are there for the videos, the pictures, and things like that. All right, so and that's another link right there. Looking to just get more people connected. So that is our link right there. Uh, beyond all of the tour information that you see on the main menu to the left, right after it is other um, documentation, payment options about us articles on repatriation and investment and a few other things. So this is what you'll see on the main menu or in the body of the actual website. Once you go on there, you'll see these links here. And once you open them up, it's a wealth of information and definitely want to get more and more people to, to open these things more so on their desktop and laptop, a bigger screen so you can read the fullness of the details because it is detail oriented information that way you can just literally see your day-to-day -day, uh, schedule and itinerary just like once we get to Ghana uh, we're going to be in Accra for four days and then we're also going to be in Cape Coast Almina for three days and then three days in Kumasi but the flight sequence for some of us some of us are going to fly on United some are going to fly on Delta Airlines and some are going to fly on Brussels Air and other airlines so what we have scheduled for that entire day on the 25th of May is airport pickup and so all those things would be finalized 
We'll find, we'll just double check with everyone on what flight they're coming in on, make sure the manager have the schedule and things like that. And whoever is traveling with me, you just, you know, we'll just arrange for the bus to pick us all up. So those are the things that we have this well organized and scheduled. So whether it's that upcoming journey coming up in a little over a month or the furthest journey we have for South Africa, these things are all the same layout and schedule. And then as time gets closer, if we need to make adjustments in the itinerary and schedules, uh, then I will uh, work it out to where those things are nice and clear. But as we set off for the for 2023, uh, we have the Senegal and Gambia routes uh, tour, March 31st, April 10th. Then also that we have Ghana for May 24th to June 5th. 2023 again. Uh, so that schedule is not on this um, newsletter, but it's live on the website. And it's not also on the flyer, but it's something I just added in the last uh, few days because trying to just avoid us having too much schedule at the same country. Now, so the next journey after that, which is our summer journey getaway is Liberia Reconnection Investment Tour. So that tour is still being put together as best as possible. The next thing I need to do is finalize the itinerary layout and things like that. So I'm still doing a lot of research on Liberia and still building it to where we can do investments and open up other business connections and have a nice business conference. So uh, since we have a good amount of time, I'm gonna be just working on it, but that's, and that's the uh, only new country that we have that we've never done before. And that will mark country number 11 for me traveling to Africa. And that will be, I wanna say about, uh, the eighth or the ninth country that we have on the, the schedule uh, over the period of the last several years. And yes, uh, the schedule changed different. Uh, I used to see Ghana here in December but of 2023, but it is South Africa. So that's how I was able to work out the six countries along between this year and next year. So anyone, you know, families, usually once you're interested, just look through the details, give me a call. We'll, go through it and we just get you locked in. All right, so and my historical links, the YouTube link, I uploaded um, more videos over the last uh, few weeks. Uh, so lots of update uh, on our land development there in Jahadzi. Also our last two journeys to Ghana and Tanzania. So I still have a few more footage I'm uploading to YouTube and then Lots of photos still from last uh, year, 2021, that I'm uploading to Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so it's just a continuation of just lots and lots of photos and videos, lots and lots of highlights. And that's showing everybody just the good time we have. We have everything organized. We work the process. And then once we get there, you know, you just relax and just enjoy it. And I have a list of topics. Um, these are just things I go to in a general talk. But the most important thing as we're traveling to two countries that require visa or the next few countries is for everyone to be clear on the visa information. Um, as far as the Ghana visa information, it, the process may be different from time to time. But once I send you the email, look through it, uh, use as much of those information as possible, and then send me an email of anything that you need clear clarity of or, of or any letters or anything that you need me to send that we may have not uh, sent you already and then we just get you going on that. As far as Tanzania visa, uh, everything is online. So all you have to do is scan your documents and upload them. So it's another situation where once you read through all of it and you start the process, I can help you with it if you get stuck. Uh, the, the visa email is designed to make it as easy as possible, but at the same time too, these things aren't as simple as it may be for some people. I, but that's the best help I have for you to print it out or download all the files and just get you know, just make initial start. And I'm always on standby just to just help anyone with those things that way, you know, you don't have to be uh, uh, over frustrated because you know, some of them can be long and drawn out and frustrated, but that's the situation. And starting now next year, the Gambia visa, same thing too, it's a lot, lot simpler. Uh, just follow the visa email and also the visa information is also on the website. Uh, so once you click on the link, you have all the details you need to just copy and paste it in the box and online visa. Or if you just choose to just write it in, you can just have it in front of you. Uh, 
The last country that we need visa for is uh, Liberia. So you don't need visa for Senegal and you don't need visa for uh, South Africa. And, and so Liberia is the same thing with the visa information. Just do your best and we'll assist you in all aspects. And these are just things that if you plan on going on these journeys, you may just want to look to it and just be clear on it right now. All right, so this is all a list of this beautiful um, group photos. All right, and for those who are on Facebook or just want to see updates on Facebook, uh, these are the, the public Facebook pages. And my goal is just to always just post as many things as possible, videos, links, updates, and things like that. All right, so perfect. So this is YouTube. All right, so YouTube is another thing where we just have all of our videos there. So the goal is just try to post updates as best as possible. So the last set of videos is just our crew there on the land, our secretary, our administrator, and just uh, a few people living there, builders and so on. So that's the big highlight of Ghana is our 15 and 60 acre land development where you just see an active flow of energy going on for the last two and a half years. And then we just doing things as far as just showing people that you know this can be done, it's painful, but uh, once you put the right set of people in place and you understand the system, you can acquire land legally and build what you need to build and enjoy paradise. And these are the last set of uh, journeys. This is the COVID-19 era, the 2020 and 2021, Ghana, Senegal, the Gambia, and Tanzania. All right, so those are the main flow of documentation. And Facebook, once you get on Facebook, just click on photos and you'll see us everywhere. Yeah. See us everywhere, all over the place. Lots of gallery, lots of gallery in and out of different countries, but there's nothing like enjoying the experience. This is Instagram here. There's another flow of uh, photo gallery. And then also got a few videos, the same ones I'm showing on YouTube. Legal paperwork and just a whole lot of energy that's showing everyone a long term move on keeping a connected bridge to the African continent and now keeping wonderful energy going. So look into this, get more people to join us and look into this, explore more countries and this you know, set up for a perfect uh, vacation, getaway, all that good stuff. And for those who are definitely interested in the future of business and investment, uh, that is the foundation that we have built also. So yes, family, all good memories here online. All right, and the website itself, africaforthafricans.org. So I've loaded up a whole lot of uh, photos also of just many different years. And most of the photos you'll see is us and all these different colorful Africa for the Africans journey. And then last year when we were just doing from New Year's journey to this on boats on just out socializing and just enjoying ourselves. There's a lot of nice uh, night energy photos and videos. Now, along with all of the, you know, the general roots and culture uh, energy that we have. So the only thing is in order to enjoy the true essence of the website, you'd have to be on a desktop or a laptop and and, and you'll be able to enjoy all the beautiful photos and music. 
the tablet and phone version is there to keep it simple so you can get right to the information. That way the slideshow doesn't just, just take over your entire phone and this throws everything off. So that's uh, two different versions of the website, unfortunately. But it's worth it to just view the information on, you know, yeah, on a especially that desktop with a big screen, so you can just read the information clearly and just see that information clearly. A lot of times, we're trying to process a lot of information on a small little phone, and it's convenient to a point, which is fine. But I want you to enjoy the experience, and also why I enjoy the experience is enjoy the beautiful music, and. Then as you scroll down from last year to the last 15 years, all you're gonna see is this a whole lot of photo galleries with us in groups from as small as eight to as big as uh, 43. That is a lots and lots of journeys altogether. That's about 27 journeys right there. And the feature journey for this year, Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour, November 17 to the 28th, 2022. So family, once you click on that link. That information loads up and And then the main thing is the list of all the articles. And every time a page reload, you just see all these uh, incredible photos. So almost every country we, uh, that we go to, there's a African Holocaust exhibition. So you see anything with uh, chains or slavery, that's, the, that's uh, that part of the journey. Uh, so the goal is to cover it all, family, from business conference, uh, land investment, roots and culture, nightlife, shopping, networking. That's a Tanzania overview, general terms, itinerary, visa information, English to Kiswahili, improving your immune system, departure and reminder less. So those are things we want you all to read through family. And then when we talk in, you know, we just go through it or when we have another conference call or, you know, you, you know, you just have questions through that. But I don't want to spend too much of our time repeating some of those things that, um, that I've been talking about the last few months, which is the exact schedule. Uh, on the um, main menu on the website, one of the things are, uh, after Black Star uh, Pan African Community is the Africa Tour Books, the newsletter, and the re Africa Repatriation Consultation. So definitely also this for those who may be listening, want them to understand that if you're looking to get this thing planned out, I got you. You know we have everything organized and set up. And one of the main things that we want to make sure that people have set up is to organize your residency ahead of time. That way, when you get there, we can get it processed faster and get it done for you efficiently. So those are some of the things that put in, we're putting in place to make you know, all those things work for people moving. And also recommendation for temporary housing across from the community that uh, we're building. And also just different ways that, just to make it work so you don't just show up in an African continent to spin your wheels and spending all your money. Right, right above all that is our newsletter uh, which all the newsletters that are sent out, once you click on the link, it will just give you this historical list of it. You can always go back and check it out. And the main thing about newsletters, they they have all of the, the documentation and all of uh, the actual links to just check out anything, pictures, videos, and so on. And the tour book themselves, just give a wealth of this overview of the program itself for the entire journey. Uh, so all of these are all of these are countries that we have done before. So 
on a new book, you're using more of the photos you took and you're just making any adjustments and edits. And the one in Ghana that we have is it's pretty much a solid book um, that's just been consistent for a while. Uh, so those are books you can download and you can share. And everything on the website is this, is give you access to navigate, share, and you know, also this uh, save information so you can go back and look at it later. All right, so perfect. So family, that is a quick uh, overview, pictures, videos, documentation, newsletters, and things like that. And brief overview of website in general. So I want to open up things for question, uh, especially if, for those who are looking to travel with us this year. I want to see if everyone is clear on everything and if everybody have their visas and everybody is ready. Those are the main things. And so perfect. So family, this, uh, you can just unmute yourself and uh, just give your name, where you're calling from, your question, and I'll just uh, go through it. Um, good evening. My name is Gwendolyn Warren. Can you hear me? Greetings, uh, Gwen. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. My question is, I'm um, thinking about traveling to the Ghana tour um, in December. My question is, I noticed the South African tour was culture and roots. The Ghana tour is more like um, reparations and um, investments. So aren't we going to do some cultural things on the Ghana tour? Uh, yes, let me, uh, I can give you a quick explanation on it, the difference. The difference in the, uh, all of the tours are roots and culture tour, every single last one of them. The only tour that I have investments is for Ghana, we have a business and investment conference and also we have a land investment our presentation uh, are basically showing people our community land and if people, anyone is interested, making sure they get access to the details. In Liberia, it's, it's the similar thing, but we haven't built it up all that way uh, yet. Uh, so beyond that, um, the roots and culture aspects of it is drum and dancing, museums, uh, then also this, um, you know, arts and culture shopping, and places like that, and just just being in the country and just touring around the country and just enjoying the level of tourism and this relaxation. So they all just mix and combine with a little bit of different things. It's just those only two is the ones uh, that also have an additional interest dealing with investment and repatriation and living and doing business in the country in general. And other countries, you know, those things are there. It's just we don't have any conference or specific presentation. But all the tours that we have, that's the focus. Traveling there and also open the minds up to future investment. Uh, so the best thing to do is right now, even if someone may not be ready to make those kind of moves, their presentations and they also recorded presentations. So we share them just online. So you may have more people or other people may be interested. Thank you. All right, absolutely. So uh, Gwen, have we spoken recently? I'm trying to make sure I keep up with everybody. No, we haven't. Um, this makes the first time I oh, ever tuned in. Yeah. A perfect guy. Do you have my number so I can? Um, yeah, it was on your website. Website and fly. Uh, so if you can yeah, on... your details, uh, that way I can just connect with you so I can just go through everything with you for that journey. All right. Um, another thing, that visa, you shouldn't apply for your visa until three months before leaving. Am I correct? Uh, yes, that's about the right time. That, around that time, two to three months. I lose track of the amount of changes that uh, they've made with the visas. But that's All usually right. the time I recommend, two to three months. And then, so right now, the best thing I would just recommend is just being clear on all the information at this moment. All right, I will call you and for some uh, more advice on the vaccinations and what have you. Yes, and when you, when you do communicate with me, 
Uh, if you're good with texting, then you can just text the first, last name, and email address. Uh, that way I can send you what I need to send you and then also go through it with you. All right. Thank you. I will do that. Yes. Um, perfect. Just trying to just make sure that we go through all of these things and, yes, definitely explain the requirements as far as any kind of vaccination or any kind of COVID test. Right now, the vaccination is not mandatory, but uh, um, the, the uh, visa is requiring yellow fever uh, card yeah. upload. So that's something that um, that's more than likely just new. I don't know if it's new of this year and uh, last year, but I haven't applied, I've, I've applied for Ghana visa in a while, but those things weren't part of it. And uh, the other thing is, you know, when you get into Ghana, uh, we, we did, we'll talk more about taking a COVID test two to three days before we travel and work out a sequence to where you have your results back at least a day before you travel. So those are some of the things that we're gonna talk about. And also another thing too, you know, sometimes you, you may wanna take more than one, like a lot of times I take two, one on the third day, one on the second day before I travel. Uh, so those are those are some of the things and, and everything. But if you have your passport ready, uh, we can just, uh, you're, you're, you're in smooth sailing. All right. Well, my passport don't expire until 2024. So I was reading. So I, I guess I'm good on that aspect. Yes, absolutely. You want to get some. You want to get some good use out use out of it before you you know you pay for that heavy renewal. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's so perfect. So, have you seen any of the footage of our our last journeys to Ghana, May or December last year? No, I had a um, friend. She went last year, and I've been hearing about um, your tour. So. I said, you know, maybe I'll, it's the bucket list thing. <laughs> I want to take a tour, but I, Perfect. she said it was wonderful. So, you know. Oh, uh, yes. We just, the goal is just to go with the itinerary and this, yes. everything yes. you see on itinerary, the goal is to do it. So if you can keep up, it's a whole lot to do, but if you want to slow down and do certain things, it's also up to you. We don't want to, right. we just have a full itinerary for everyone to see, you know, it's a full schedule of, fun and excitement and adventure, but some people, it may be too fast for them, but, and then some people, if you want to stay longer, I always recommend stay longer so you can go to other countries and, you know, explore other parts of Ghana. Uh, so all we have to do in that case is change the dates on the ticket. So just putting that out there, just for general recording for those who may be coming in the, you know, coming sooner or coming later, uh, just to get more out of your journey, if you want to do that, and we can always help make these arrangements. One more thing, airfares included anywhere you're coming from. I'm coming from Michigan, so that would be Michigan, right? Michigan, right? Not oh, just yes, Atlanta. Okay. The flight will come from, it'll be more than likely uh, Detroit to New York, New York to Ghana. All right, all right. And the worst case, uh, Detroit to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Ghana. Or, right. or or Detroit to Paris, Paris to Ghana. So those are the three popular routes for the Delta Sky team. All right. Well, perfect. So good to hear from you. Um, and let me see if anyone else have any questions or want to talk about anything as we get ready to start off the, the journey, our first journey for the year. So this is uh, Juma from Los Angeles. Hey, greetings, Juma. So did you see the um, the email message that came out from Dar es Salaam um, for travelers to Tanzania? They said that fully vaccinated travelers will be uh, asked to present a vaccination certificate with a QR code for verification. Did you see that? <laughs> so one thing I would recommend someone do is uh, Wherever they take a vaccination, just make sure that they give you a QR code uh, for it and uh, and you're good to go. Yeah. But uh, yes, I've seen some crazy stuff like that. And um, I promise I'll get some answers. Because yeah. you you, you're probably saying, well, you got the vaccination card, but you didn't get no QR code. Right. Because, you know, I get mine at the VA, right? The, the VA must have gave you a bootleg one. 
No, I mean, they just think it's just a regular card. They didn't know anything. I don't even know if they know anything about the QR code, though, for verification. But I'll ask them and look into that. They might have to issue a whole new card, though. I don't know. Well, perfect. Uh, that would be a good research, you know? Yeah, it came out in an email. And I forwarded it to you. I guess you didn't get it. No, I did get it. Uh, but I'm saying, as far as none of us have a QR code, is this... I just have to honestly talk with um, our, our tour guides and folks there, and we have enough time to talk about it, but um, a QR code, I mean, that's just, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, since you're on a roll, uh, explain everything else, uh, what's, the, what's the next set of things? Say, if you don't have the vaccination card, you have to just take the COVID test, right? Same yeah. as Donna? Well, that, yeah, that goes without saying, though. Everybody has to have within 72 hours of leaving and 72 hours before coming, or one day before coming back. What's the point of, what's the point of the vaccination card? <laughs> uh, they, I guess they want to make sure that you know, you're not coming into the country with uh, COVID. See, see, in Ghana's situation with the vaccination card, uh, you don't have to take a PCR test incoming. Right. So it's... Um, it's and, you know, and also, I promise you, I will look uh, through what else they may have on the latest travel advisory. Right. And I'm trying to read more and more travel advisory, but definitely anyone that's traveling with us and you're, you're looking at the latest travel advisory, look at it. Let's discuss certain things you may see and things that I, I'm trying my best to keep up with all of these things. And one thing I know before I'm going anywhere, I don't play around. I make sure that I go through all of these things and... Make sure I'm prepared so I can be there for the show. So, yeah. so that's it. so the next thing I'll be doing is reading both of them for Ghana and Tanzania. Yeah. All right. So we have a, we have a few exciting people on. So one last thing. Sure. When you go back to Ghana, do you ever plan on uh, putting Steve Coakley Jr.'s uh, Black Think Tank on your itinerary? Uh, you never know. We made us pop up there, you know made us do a, a, like a stakeout or something like that. Yeah, he's got a, he built a new place out there. You know who Steve Coakley is, right? This is the, the son of Steve Coakley. Yeah, soon, Steve uh, Coakley uh, Jr. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I don't know exactly what the, the place is. I like, like physically, no, I don't know. But uh, uh, well, you one can of those things, if, if we can get it, if it's in the, in the route, we can you know pass through. Yeah, it's in Cape Coast, right? Yeah, that's why you're still on the Cape Coast. So yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. You know, we're over there for you know, three days. Right. So you are you ready for your Tanzania journey? You got your uh, visa and everything? Oh yeah, you know, I had the visa in March, I guess, a uh, long time ago. Well, perfect. Anybody else coming with you? No. I you're don't- not gonna, You're not gonna bring sand to the beach? Who? <laughs> no, I mean- <laughs> There's too many people that I know right now that are stuck on Negro status. So I, <laughs> I don't really even uh, engage in African conversations with them because they're not ready for it. Oh, wow. I was hoping that they'll see you traveling to all these incredible places in Africa. Senegal, yeah. the Gambia, yeah. Ghana. They're talking about South the Tanzania. I'm, like, I'm telling them, I don't want to talk about the Ukraine. That's between them white people. Let them handle their business. You know, I don't have nothing to do with that. Well, okay, Keisha, your turn. So we got six we got six countries in Africa for them to talk about. Right. All right. All right anybody else have any questions? Uh, your name, where you're calling from, and your question. And that was Juma. Just uh, unmute yourself and just uh, speak. The, the forum is open. But we got about a good 15 minutes. Hello, Bomani. How are you? Greetings, Dr. Austin. Greetings. I'm hoping that you are ready for your journey there in Ghana. It seems like next month uh, is coming faster than it should be coming. Mm -hmm. but, I well, totally agree. But <laughs> totally agree. I'm, I'm ready for it. trying to get it. them in Ghana to be on standby as I begin to try to find out who is really coming and who is not coming. But regardless, uh, whatever, whoever show up, we're just going to make it happen. That seems to be the order of what we have to do nowadays. Yes, you have to be flexible. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, last December we had to do that. As a matter of fact, all of last year. So 
Um, this one that everybody know that we are still working that journey and making it work. So anyone who needs to jump on at the last minute, we can work it out for you. <laughs> and so um, once I get to the airport, so do I call you or text you or how, uh, what how it, will I know that the, um, the transportation person is there? Yes, yeah, so I will have management communicate with you at least two days before you travel and they'll have your itinerary and your, you know, what time you're coming up uh, and airlines and everything. And okay. then um, you, you end up be able to communicate via WhatsApp. So once you physically get to like baggage claim, you just turn on your phone and you know, get them a call and let them know you have baggage claim. And then they'll have a sign out there for you. And then the same thing I have to do for you, Keisha, because you're coming on different airlines. And uh, the rest of us um, are coming on Delta and KLM. So, so yeah, those are the things that work out uh, since it's one of those weird situations where some of us are just on different airlines because we don't have an organized group booking. Before you used to have like 20, 30 people. So you'd automatically just lock in 15 to 20 tickets with the airlines. And those things work out much smoother. But uh, so that's how we're going to do the uh, pickup. And I'll definitely just make sure you have those information, uh, especially the week before you travel. And uh, okay. and, and then organize the communication for the immigration officer because we have to get your uh, get your residency process to where once you That's once you they get your passport, they can just take care of it within the next uh, five to seven days. So oh, are, excellent, excellent. Working. Well, yeah, five to seven days. So okay, by the time you come back from around the, you know, around the country, that's the goal. So those okay. are the things that uh, we are looking to pull off like we're pulled off. So I'm trying to keep all of that in mind. And then just for anybody else in general, uh, that's one of the things that the country is pushing more for. If you want to get a you get a SIM card, get your mobile money, get your Ghana card. If you need to get anything that is, unfortunately, the visa, you know, you can come in and out of the country for as long as up to two months at a time. And you can just enjoy and do certain things. But as far as the things that I've been able to do in the past, including acquiring land, you can't do it anymore with a US passport. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna be able to let everyone know more about our new residency process as we're just getting more and more of it in place. So Dr. Austin, you're one of the first set of people. Yeah, well, that's good, very good. So what's the status on the survey? On the uh, survey, survey, are we talking about uh, the land for the survey? Mm -hmm. Yes, the survey is going to take, it takes about three months, unfortunately. Okay. And trying okay. to still get a survey to give us some of the surveys that he, that he had for us for last year. So trying to bear with that and trying to get them to lay something out for us uh, as far as the, the 60 acres to this, where we can start doing certain things and get a GPS link for us. So uh, just bear with that. Uh, and then the attorney, the one thing the attorney said he did submit was the deal to work with uh, the Lands Commission for us to just do payments to them for the registration, mm -hmm. so which, is, which is the best game plan. So waiting for those things to come back. So it's it's honestly painful. This, this, you just, it is time does go by, but everything is just super slow. Yeah, like but that's fine. It gives you the opportunity to save more money. So, you know, it's all good. Uh, yes, yeah, so the, so that's why I like the fact that everyone who started ahead of time started ahead of time and theirs got done and trying to get the people who got theirs done to start building. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we can keep the builders there and keep new builders coming. Because that's the funny mm -hmm. thing about the builders that you get, they, you know, they, they just, you know, you know, they don't want, you know, whatever, whenever, once someone else is, you know, is requesting them and if nothing else is going on, they're gone. Yeah. So. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. The good thing is you'll be able to see, let's see our office space in this, go up on the land. We'll have a smaller vehicle, so we'll be able to drive up on the land. Excellent. I'm looking forward to that. Yes, and then yeah, you, you, we, we're gonna show you your plot and you're gonna take some photos and videos of your plot. Exactly. <laughs>
So, yes, I wish I could tell you that we have about 20, 30 people, but uh, we don't. But uh, we're going to make it all worthwhile, regardless of if it's five or 10 people. So. Yes, that's who, uh, that, I, I just realized who that is. That is Philson. Greetings, brother. How are you? You're going to be hanging out with us. Hopefully you can show up at the, the Micklin Hotel on the 29th when the bus leaves to go, to go you know, get you a free ride to go see the land and go see your two plots. Yes, and you're on mute. If you want to speak, you can speak. So that's... There you go. You're still on mute. Okay. Hey, perfect. There you go. There you go. Oh, I, I don't know if you hear me. I can hear you good now. Uh, Okay, good. Okay, good. Welcome to all. Um, excuse the noise at the back. I'm at work, and uh, you got a lot of equipment behind. Uh, so excuse the noise. But um, glad to be here, and um, the information you're giving out is, is is um precious, and I'm looking forward to that trip to uh Ghana. Um, I didn't hear everything because of the noise, but um, I guess I'll talk to you um on the phone. When we get off at the end of this, or probably tomorrow or so. Yeah, hey, absolutely. But yes, that's for, me, for clarity. But I was saying to you and uh, Dr. Austin that uh, you guys will be able to just go up on the land with us, and then you'll be able to just walk to your plots and everything, and so on. So that's the good thing of it, because um, you know, that way we can show people that we have people with us that you know that they're coming to see their plots for the first time. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. And um, I already talked with. Uh, with Terry, and uh, I, I, I suppose to see where on the earth. I, I schedule is really interesting, and yes, I'm, I, I'm, I definitely look forward to go on that. Um, to see my and so on. Perfect. Um, and looking forward to this making that office work right there. So whenever you looking to go or come by, you always got people there by the land. So making it work from from a distance. So. Uh, Yes, that's cool. That's cool to have somebody there. You can always pop in, get information you need, you know, that kind of stuff. And um, yeah. yeah, that was a good move, man. You 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 are the head of the game, man. Uh yes, we just and we have another sister there, um, as you can see in the latest video. And she's uh, and she's um, more of the secretary there and but both people and that we have there, you know, the goal is when we have people who wanna come by to see the land, they'll be able to take them there or direct them and escort them in. And just building it up little by little, you know, we're going to get there. And especially since, you know, some of the people that we have are there in Ghana already. And we just want to make sure that the most important thing sometimes people want to see is the land. So I tell people, whoever want to see the land, we have people there seven days a week. So come on to see it, you know, uh, and things like that. Because I used to be a, you know, I try to, I'm trying to cut away at people's excuses. Like some people say, well, I need to see the land. I was like, as soon as you get to Ghana, whether it's this year or next year, let me know. And, you know, we will have somebody there and they'll show you the land. But right now you can take a look at all the legal paperwork. You can look at it. You can process everything. And then when you go there, you can physically see everything and you can get an idea. And then if you want to make a commitment in there, that's perfect. Uh, so it's covered in all bases, you know, and, 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 and everything. And I have one of our good brothers there doing some promo videos. He's gonna document more of the day-to-day -day of of this, the people that are on the land building and also living on the land and the people there working at the office and the neighbors and the people in the town and the community. So those are some of the things I'm trying to get more footage of. So we have someone that, you know, we literally hired to do those things. So I'm looking forward to the show more and more footage as we begin to build this town as a, a nice sort of diaspora connection where you have a lot of folks in the diaspora from different parts of the world and they're there just to you know, connect and just do good business you know, and things like that. Because Accra is too expensive. It's to the point where you know, after people pay that one to two year rent, they realize that they don't spend too much of their money and they could have put it down on some land and start building. So that's why we have what we have set up. So yes, you'll be able to see it in, in, in living color and live and direct. Uh, 
All right, so uh, let me see if anyone else is around. Uh, Brother Tyrell, I'm just going to just reach out to one or two people. If you're flexible. Yes, can... oh, yeah. Um, yeah, our brother Bohemi, can you hear me? Uh, Bohemi, Bohemi. Bohemi. Yeah, yeah, greetings, Sorry, brother. Um, I can hear you well. I just wanted to say greetings to you and uh, say welcome to the call. I wanted to know if uh, you want to share anything about living there in Ghana so far as we're getting ready uh, to head to Ghana uh, May uh, 24th. Yes, I, ha I had a question. I want, uh, you were saying, so we, we have to be residents in order to receive a plot, correct? Oh, uh, no, not to receive a plot. In the future, if you go to make any kind of land deal, it's going to be more of a situation where the, where the lands commission and people like that, they're going to want to see these documents. A lot, of t a, lot, a lot of what I've done in Ghana, including setting up like um, investment, like uh, treasury. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, because I'm, I'm already I current. Um, go ahead. I was able to do everything I was able to do with my U.S. passport. But I'm telling everyone, as of 2022, a lot of the laws and things have changed to where they can't just do that. So now, uh, in order to get the proper set up to this, acquire your land, you know, you have to do those process now. But it's not too late, and it's something that, individuals can start working on but these are things that's being put out there now because it affects how you if you can't get your your mobile money uh, number you can't get a uh, ghana card you can't get uh you, know, you just can't get those basic things and you definitely can't open a bank account so it's also for you to be able to do those things especially if you're looking to do business in ghana if you look, look into this, the tourist the tourist route then you just enjoy a tourist visa Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. But yeah, yeah, Ghana's how, good. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. So I say Ghana's good. Ghana's very peaceful. I'm here. I got an apartment here. I'm a resident now. I've been here uh, as of the 14th. I've been here for five months. Um, I haven't really got around. I went to one spot. The, uh, I think one of the visiting locations that you're going to go to uh, on the tour is the last bath. Um, I had a chance to yes. visit that briefly. Yeah, I went through the whole tour. And uh, I had a chance to vi visit that briefly, get that experience. So that, that was really good. All right, perfect. So what else are you looking forward to seeing? I'm uh, looking forward to seeing, uh, I actually want to, that, that last bath, I actually want to get the full experience because I didn't really get into the water. I put my feet in, but I, I didn't really have a chance to enjoy the whole experience. So I, I would like to do that again. Um, other than that, yeah, I would just like to see like maybe the uh, Kamasi region that uh, with the Kamasi area and, and the Shanti region and just get around and tour Ghana because I've been pretty much living like a local since I've been here. <laughs> you know, going to the market, getting my food and, you know, it's really living like a local since I've been here. So, um, yeah, I would like to uh, you know, see some different regions in Ghana and experience that. Yeah, absolutely, brother. Uh, tourism life is the best. You get a chance to really see the country. Uh, many times there are people traveling with us and we take them places that they never heard or seen in the country. And I tell people it's like that. Uh, what we have is just a lot of research to put together a roots and culture tour. So anything dealing with the history of the slavery, stolen African ancestors, the circle parks, museum, um, you know, roots and culture places like our arts and culture center, you know, those things are on there. So it's um, flood the itineraries with it and make our way around. So be good to yes be good and, to connect and, with you. and I, I would really like to see something like maybe some dancing something traditional i haven't seen that yet either so um, yeah so once we get to one africa uh, it's uh we have welcome drumming and dancing so that's on there and things like that on our itinerary so what i've done is just put every aspects of uh, someone connecting into the country on their itinerary and then also you know once you stay back longer you can just see how the local life is like what you're doing right now and uh, which uh, you see get boring quick. Uh, so people always yeah, like, right, right. <laughs> why don't I live in a certain country? I was like, I get up every day. My main focus is working every day. So as long yeah. as I'm wherever I'm, I'm, I am and I can do my work, I'm good and things like that. But uh, once we build our business center and build up our land, you know, we can make our move. But other than that, you know, like in America, I'm just here working every day. And, uh, you, know, you know, so. Uh, you know, when I come to, you know, to Ghana, you just enjoy the tourist life and that's fun. Uh, but then you just make your move. Uh, but but that's the, the situation when you're there, you know, you start seeing the real life. And. Uh... Yeah, like you said, the real life and how it is, 
Yeah, I would like to, you know, when when uh, one of the tour, maybe this tour, when you do come, I would like to, you know, uh, see if I can, you know, get a part, maybe the last bath for, you know, get in one of those days. So, you know, I'll talk to you more about that. Absolutely, that would definitely work. All right, perfect. All right, so let me see who else have any questions I want to talk. Uh, uh, Keisha, you, you, you look like you have a question, but I don't know if you do, you're just looking. So... Uh, no pressure on anyone. Just letting everyone know I am available for any questions. And that we're going to close in the next few minutes if no one have any questions. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Keisha, and I'm here in Massachusetts. So I'd really now get an opportunity to travel to Ghana this, this year. Right, perfect. You look super excited. <laughs> So we're going to make it work this time, uh, especially for those who couldn't make it in December. That's why I want to make sure that I keep myself available to make it work because you know, it's one of those things, the COVID era. So let everybody know that we're flexible to receive you. Gwen looks like she wants um, to leave like now and next month, right, Gwen? Yeah. <laughs> you can still make it. We can get you on there. We just have to do a few things fast, like a visa. I'm not ready until December. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keisha, I'm, gotcha. Go ahead. I'm still working. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, it's not holiday time yet. Right. So, so perfect, family. We'll make it work. And I got a Kovi. I got you down also. So we have a we have a we have a nice small group. And then we have a few people that's uh, dear and gone. Sometimes the small is be... better. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> we'll, 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 yeah, we'll work on what... These headaches. I'm just happy that we can work things out because uh, the last journey I've had to this, we couldn't do because we didn't have enough people, but this one is just something that we can work out a little more flexible. We just have to be willing to just add people and work it down to the last few weeks. That's right. That, and just mm -hmm. make it work. And then we have a few people that's going to be tagging along with us that's there in Ghana, some of our other members. So it, it's still going to be a nice social energy. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. Yes, yeah, a uh, good plan. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so I'm ready. Just want everybody to <laughs> know this, um, start packing and stuff, getting things organized. Uh, definitely make sure your visa is good. Make sure you got your sequence set up for your COVID tests. If you need any help with anything, you want to talk about anything, give me a call. And definitely once we get closer, we'll just do a private call for all of us that's just traveling to Ghana alone. And, okay. Uh, so everybody can just know who's really coming. And that'll be like the last, the 10 to 12 days before we leave. Sounds good. Yeah, so I will post those things on the WhatsApp group page. So that's one of my best ways to post any of those updates that we have, especially conference calls and any updates or details in general. So we can all be prepared. So that's what I'm doing, family. I'm racing against time. I look up, I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's um, you know, it's like time is coming. So we're coming up on 40 days away from that journey. So just um, be prepared, family. And I'll be on standby. And I may not have a bunch to post or anything, but I'm working on what I'm working on. So just if you need to communicate with me, just send a quick message on WhatsApp or via text or just call me and or send an email, whichever way you want to do it. And then I'll communicate, but I am just getting it all ready. And then at the same time to literally add in a few more people at the last minute. I have a few people that we just got to keep working on, working on them and we'll get them to go in. We'll get them some last minute tickets and work it all out. Mm -hmm. so, How little about money? Yes, little man is all right. Is, is, is all right, I wish I. The spring break just ended. <laughs> yes, and he's going to take another break. <laughs> so, Kobe, you're ready to go. You have any? You have, you have any company you bring in? No, they talk a good game. Hey, you got to talk mm -hmm. a better game then. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going with or without them. You know that, <laughs> one way or the other. Talk a good um, game. Uh, yeah, I have to go. I got to do my thing. Too many things to do. 
Yeah, if you need to if you need to tie them up in front of the computer and I do a video call with them, I can hypnotize them. <laughs> they need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> like a kick in the butt. Mm-hmm. And like the brother was saying, they're still what Negro ties. <laughs> I got time, these folks. Uh-uh. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do because you can't you waiting to go on folks you Go with people you'll never go. All right. <laughs> you yeah. always have yeah. something to do. It's COVID. All right. Mm-hmm. No, it's scared. Don't want to leave the U.S. of snakes. Yeah, they want to. Don't want to go from their own backyard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. So that's why you need to come with us this next month. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm coming in month. December. Sure enough, I'm teaching now. So. The vacation is, I'm teaching now, so the vacation is not until, um, I'm not finished until June. I'm committed until June. But December, I'm going. In December, I'm definitely going. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be going last year, but waiting around for people to go with you. (laughs) You know, for Negroes to go with you. I'm still here. (laughs) Let them get some substitutes. Well, hey, the way I'm feeling, they need to. But when I'm, once I'm committed, I'm committed. <laughs> Sick days. Not enough. <laughs> That's perfect, God. But definitely, Gwen, appreciate your energy. Um, and we're going to get that uh, workout. But that's exactly what happened. Uh, I've had many stories like that, just waiting on people. So. That's why we do the journey for a lifetime um, because we know people want to make these journeys and make the move. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, you have to just make the move by yourself, but that's a good right. thing. Going with right. A group. Right. Right. You'll, meet, you'll, you'll meet new people, new friends. It's been that way for, you know, since we've been doing the journey. Right. You, gotta, you know, absolutely. You definitely want your best friends and your other family mm-hmm. members to come. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes it is, you know, you know, you, you may have to make a few journeys and, and show them some of your highlights before, you know, before they feel convinced. <laughs> so they can watch you on Revolutionary Cam live on YouTube and see all the footage <laughs> with us, us uh, hanging out and enjoying paradise. And that's why I made make sure I record everything so people can see, because I know <laughs> some people don't think we're actually going to Africa and tell them that we're going to show you everything better than we can tell you. So that's why I got all them pictures and everything, but it's not like the journey and just being there, you know, and then because for the most part, you, you know, you can tune out this America for a good 10, 15 days. You know, unfortunately, um, some people are not coming until they see Putin knocking at the U.S. door. <laughs> and then they'll be ready, you know, mm-hmm. to come on over. <laughs> No. So I tell I told my folks to go ahead and get their passports, although they don't want to go anywhere, but True. to at least get their passports so that if something happens, they have an, another option. And Malcolm I tell my students that too. Yeah. You know, Malcolm X said that a long time ago. Right. Yes. That's why I got mine. Malcolm X said that a long time ago. Keep it open. Yes. <laughs> I was a kid. That's right. Mm-hmm. And so my thing is now to get dual citizenship in as many countries as a- African countries as I can. Yeah. Dual citizenship sounds huh? good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So Ghana yeah. is one and Sierra Leone is the other one. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Perfect. You have the Sierra Leone DNA. Oh, yes. I got the a- African ancestry. So my maternal DNA is in Sierra Leone, Liberia, and mm. um, Guinea-Bissau. Me and mine, Guinea-Bissau, too. Balanta people. <laughs> yeah, mine, too. Those That's one resist. of mine. Mine is one, one of the Mr. Palantas. Yes. That's right. Those who resist. Yes, and uh, the crew in Liberia who would rather die than to be a slave. All right, then. I said, That's where I got that from. That go back, get you going. All right. Exactly. Exactly. I was like, mm-hmm. that's what I'm talking about. But my thing is get yourself ready before something happens, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that Stay place. ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stay ready. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. 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 Always have options and backup plans. 
Mm-hmm. And backups to the backups. That's, that's right, to that backup too. Mm-hmm. Dual citizenship sounds awful mm-hmm. good. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, you are so welcome. Because I remember uh, when the U.S. called some people home and they had to leave because they wasn't a citizen of any other country. So, say no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bomani has disappeared. Where are you, Bomani? (laughs) Yes, looking for more questions, I guess. uh, (laughs) So, I have a quick question. Go ahead. Yeah, I have a quick question. This is Tyrell. Uh, funny you talking about African ancestry. My, my roots, my paternal roots uh, trace back to the Mbundu people of Angola. And uh, my maternal roots trace back to the Yoruba and Hausa people of Nigeria. Mm-hmm. I wanted to ask you, will, will like uh, Benin or Angola be in the future? Any future tours? Bomani. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, apologize for that. Um, yeah, distract. No, that's the only countries I have. I can't really just the countries I named, the six countries, that's the only countries I can manage to do business with and do business in. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but I can't, you know, I wouldn't, I would, I would never limit myself. But uh, right now, that's the, you know, what I've scheduled for this year and next year. That's the rotation I'm kind of working with. Uh, so, oh yeah, that's good. That's good. You got to go with you know what doors are open. Um, no, absolutely. Okay. Thank but you. Same time too. You know, we never know. So it's not really a yes or no, but uh, no time soon. As far as new countries, the newest country I have on there is uh, Liberia. Still taking me some work to get all the the field work and the ground research and all kind of things I've done. Uh, yes, but um, absolutely, brother. But uh, yeah, you can also, if anyone that's looking to do some of these countries, uh, reach out to some other folks and also let's see what you can organize and put out there. That way we can just get more countries out. Yeah, but Bonnie, why did you choose um, Liberia as opposed to um, Sierra Leone? Because your contacts or it was easier? No, I don't, I don't jump on bandwagons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are trying to copy copy you, but they can't, you know. Um, as far as Sierra Leone, there's a few people there, but Liberia is just something. It takes a little bit more work, but uh, it's you know it's it's something I've been processing for a long time. Uh, okay. I've, you know, I've, between college genesis and the few people that we know and the people that you know, they have connected with me over the years, it's make it made it more realistic to deal with uh, energy of investment there trying to get yeah, the right okay. people in place, the right people in the right departments that's going to represent our people when our people actually mm-hmm. try to get things done, business paperwork and so on. That's the only way I'll do it again. Uh, in Ghana, we did it the rough way, you know, paying a bunch of attorneys and a bunch of business people mm-hmm. and things like that. But now we're looking to this start away from the top and build those connections. So it was the only country that was available that offered those connections. Mm-hmm. Yeah, college in the season point. You know, and a few people I've been following him. Tourism. Yeah, so, he's, he's definitely on point. But it's a country where I have to do more research. And yeah. you know, like one of the easiest countries was to, when South Africa didn't work out. I, I, I turned that thing over, and next thing you know, we're in Tanzania, like a few months mm-hmm. later. And I put everything up, all the marketing information up. But uh, Liberia is just, it's just on, it's, it's just tourism that's just untapped and untouched. and you have to literally build the tourism and build the energy and so on. So very interesting uh, and things like that. So that's why I end up just moving with that. And then the people that's doing Sierra Leone, we can kind of just work and connect with them. Because at that point, people are doing Sierra Leone, but then there weren't too much energy in Liberia. And you know, and the, the whole process with the uh, citizenship, that's a good move. I yeah. Mean, uh, you know, and more governments should do that. I mean, that's, you know, it's, you know, it it, 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 it kind of make things a little more flexible. Yes. And things like that. Uh, so. Well, the president of Tanzania, she's trying to recruit us uh, as far as um, tourism, Tanzania. And she's, she's supposed to be in New York, I think this week, DC first. 
So she's promoting tourism there. That's perfect. Uh, and we just keep it going now. The good thing I feel that we're in all the right countries now, West Africa, uh, the few the few countries in West Africa, in Tanzania and East Africa, and in uh, Southern Africa, South Africa. And that way, um, you know, anyone that's ready to go to Africa, they have a nice little good feel. But most of the action that we're looking to organize is just right there in West Africa, especially along Ghana, Liberia, yeah. and also uh, the Gambia. Yeah. And so when are you going to Liberia? Is it going to be Today. during uh, 2023? Oh, okay, okay, I may go. The school will be out because I'm, I'm <laughs> I am going back into the classroom. So I have to go in, you know, so I can earn some more money to put buildings up <laughs> on the continent, you know, and to work, continue to work my plan. Mm -hmm. I'm a fellow educator also. I mm -hmm. understand exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly. Mm hmm. Yes, Liberia would be uh, definitely good. So I'm putting the, that out, trying to just add schedules in, just like I added the South Africa schedule back on. Um, and I've, you know, I've put out enough Ghana schedule to it. We have more than enough, people had more than enough time to jump on the Ghana journeys, but I uh, had a good chance to just you know, do South Africa. So hopefully um, those who are traveling with us this year or in the past years, Enjoy those journeys and can jo come join us for you know schedules that's a little bit different for next year. But that's when we got all these different countries for next year, and just putting them out way ahead of time so anyone can just process the details. Sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. And I've been to Liberia mm -hmm. before. How Me too. It? But, um, they're they're heavily Christianized. <laughs> you know? And as so I went on a missions trip there, and it's it was it's really it's really sad. But they go there twice or three times a year to make sure that they remain that way. Yeah, so it's a strategy of what they're doing. Heavy documentation. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ghana Ghana got to be up there because Ghana is one of those countries, but. I thought it was yes. a countries in Africa, except for the, the predominant, the uh, Islam countries. But mm -hmm. heavy Christianity, uh, the order of the yes. day. False yes, Christianity. Indeed. False Christianity. That's what it said. <laughs> yeah, they got to make sure that they stay safe. Money. They don't want them to wake up. Hey, money. Yes. yes, indeed. That's all it is, the game. Money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you said, uh, yeah, Ghana is up there here now. I called, I called my friend earlier. I was looking for. I was like, "Hey, man, can I go to the market today to get some food?" He said, "Nope, everything's closed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everything was closed. Yeah, everything mm -hmm. was closed. But he said, I gotta wait till tomorrow to get some, food, uh, you know, go shopping." What, what did he yeah. say? Everybody was in church. Everybody. I mean, I live, I live near a few churches where I live at, and you can hear the music. I mean, from oh, well, so, from. So you, um, from five o'clock this morning, they had the speaker going, and you know. Oh, so did you go out there and hang out with them? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you would learn the, the latest dance step. <laughs> you know, I actually stayed in today. I would, I actually stayed in today. It was just, you know, kind of relaxed on the Sunday. You kind of woke you up in the morning, five o'clock in the right. morning. Were you able to sleep? Five, right. It was about four thirty in the morning. There was a speaker. There's a speaker they play. No uh, you know, every other morning, but this morning they woke me up with the gospel about four thirty in the morning with this big speaker. Oh. That's good. So after one of these church, then you got after sorry, after the club, then you got church. I mean, thank you. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> a long hour. Right now, yeah, right now the church is still going. You can hear the speaker sure. right now. It's it's one twenty in the morning. Twenty four hour party. That's why you don't live near a church. <laughs> You know, it's it's one twenty, it's one twenty a.m. here, and the, the church is still going right now. Wow. That's all at the club. No, you know, it's twelve twenty. It's twelve twenty, and you you can hear the church hour. right now. That's club yeah. hour. <laughs> oh, that make no sense. Yeah, unbelievable. So <laughs> we're, we're gonna get those things worked out. <laughs> out to where you literally just live in a rural zone but yes uh the country of many churches yeah oh, don't leave out jamaica <laughs> yeah but uh but that's where all of our people are i mean it's yeah. just that, yeah. that they did a good job so wherever you go you see lots of churches yeah yeah yeah
funerals, <laughs> liquor stores. <laughs> got, got you, you know, got you the Bible, you know, got your Bible and um, and the, the white Jesus. So you know, mm -hmm. same, I grew up in Jamaica the same way. As you yeah, see, growing up in New York, and so liquor stores. Yeah, them, right, right, see, so right. <laughs> and liquor stores. <laughs> These are things you have to deal right, with as a bro. people. That in, the the indoctrination is everywhere across the planet. Yeah, right. What they yeah, right. What they what, what they had left behind. Yeah, we we got to deal with it, right? I'm sure you left uh, U.S. Like I live here in Georgia. You left you you leave here from Georgia, and they used to talk about all the churches here, and then you end up in Ghana. It's the same thing. I was like, yes, family. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. So we got to be strong everywhere as a people. You know, the only thing I'm saying is like you know, all them offerings that they give, make sure they spend some for some black owned business. I don't know where all the collection plate is going. Huh? Swiss accounts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know that. Come on now. <laughs> some some of the uh some of the big mansions in Kamasi, they probably that's they probably Swiss account. Yeah. Swiss account, some of us there. Yeah, so those are things mm -hmm. that we have to change this. Vatican. You know, flip some of these investments and things like that. And um, you know, if we're gonna use Christianity or religion or whatever mm -hmm. situation, you know, invest some of that back into you know thank you, black empowerment and something back in the community because right. Yeah, it's it's amazing the amount of money that get collected and you come back mm -hmm. and you wonder what happened. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned this. So yeah, but uh that's one of the things. Um so I'm always some people they're gonna be turned off by Christianity and churches. They may choose to stay, they may I don't know where they can go and be safe, but <laughs> I've never been anywhere in my life where it's it's, it's been safe for this, but it's just a part of the world we live in. And the, <laughs> People dominated the world. They literally built. That's what the thing they built. Mm -hmm. the churches. <laughs> yeah. So. So. So even and uh, for the most part, the tours that we have, um, like we're in Tanzania, you know, you have cells and you have churches and things like mm -hmm. that. Same thing in Ghana. So. Yes, family. So, appreciate everybody. Energy and another. Uh, conference call so looking forward to connecting with everyone that's traveling with us this year and then i'll be on standby if anyone needs to talk with me directly and uh, we just keep everything going huh? all right so everyone uh good night you take care and uh, especially and for those who are looking to travel with me in ghana and may um, i'll be reaching out to everyone this uh, periodically in the next few weeks uh, so we yes. can talk about everything mm -hmm. Yes, and Juno, you take care. Um, I'll be looking forward to connecting with you on all those people that you're going to recruit from the VA. Yeah. <laughs> For real, I'm so serious. And his friends and family. <laughs> we'll see you later. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye, Peace everybody. out, everybody. Peace Bye. out. Charlie out. Peace out, everybody. Peace out.